Hello students, how's it going? Rodrigo here. Uh, I wanted to make a little video to show you uh, how you can get some CADs. So let's say you're making your CAD of your automata and how you can get some of these parts that are some of the VEX parts. And VEX is the company that makes a lot of the gears, wheels, um, any, any of like the metal shafts and uh, any of the metal parts that, that you guys assembled with, all right? these cams uh, we 3d printed them okay so what you're gonna do to do that is that these uh these cads are already made so you're gonna go to their website which is essentially vexrobotics.com all right vexrobotics.com and they have different um systems that they used and the one that we use is vex edr so you'll click on that and you'll go to products accessories all right you're at this page right here and uh, you see they'll have a bunch of different products and some of these guys you used uh, essentially a lot of the structure and the metal parts is here some people use some gearboxes some gussets you know any metal parts are here and then you have anything motion related all right you got gears you got sprockets you got wheels um, so let's say we want some of the gears all right so we're going to click on the motion and we'll look for the gears okay so the gears are here but i'll show you they got sprockets they got the shafts um you didn't use any pneumatics maybe some of you guys use that gearboxes tank tread i think some people use tank tread um these little lifters linear motion kits a lot of you guys use that so let's go ahead and check out the gears up here All right, so the gears, uh, it's gonna tell you the, um, a lot of the gears that they have. Uh, so here's the 84 tooth gear, this is the biggest one. And if you want the CAD of that, you're gonna go to the bottom and you're gonna click on CAD files. And let's say you want the 84 tooth gear. There's a six tooth gear, 36 tooth gear, and a 12 tooth gear, smallest, you know, second largest second smallest then then, then larger than larger largest one and you're going to go to the cad files and just click download all right so you can save the file and it's going to go to your downloads folder and so you're going to need to open up your downloads folder and uh, that would be you know this pc you go to downloads and it's going to be right there 84 tooth gear and it is called a step file Pretty much all the files you download from online are saved as step files and you need to transfer them to a part file or an assembly file. So you're gonna to go to um, you're gonna to go to inventor and you're going to go to open and let's go to the um, let's go to the downloads, click on that and uh, it is looking for Autodesk Inventor files, but we want to go to step files all right you click on step files and here it came up the 84 tooth high strength gear you can open that up and then it's going to think a little bit and it's going to come up with a series of questions all right so it's thinking And um, it's gonna um, ask you how to import this. And you're gonna convert the model. So it's gonna be an assembly, uh, solid surfaces and um, the file location. Uh, so it's gonna tell you where it's gonna end up and you're gonna click okay. That sounds good. It's converting it. And there it is. All right, so there's the gear. Uh, pretty sweet. It's got all the stuff on there. All right. So uh, what you want to do is um, you want this to live in your automata folder where all your stuff is at, right? So all your stuff in your automata folder. So here's mine is an IED, units, automata, and here's my automata folder. So you want the 84 tooth gear in there 
All right. So let's go ahead and do that. We're going to do file save as, and you're going to go to your folder. Let's see. Mine's going to be in documents, IED units, unit for automata, and it's going to be in here. And um, I'm going to change the name to something that's useful. Like these numbers aren't useful to me. This is probably their part number, but I don't really need that. So I could do 84 um, to gear. And I'm just going to leave some space there. And it's a part file. Great. Save. Good to go. And there it is. All right. So it's in there. Now let's say I want to put this in here. Uh, I'm going to do place and I'm going to do the 84 tooth gear open. Uh, let's just put it wherever and okay. And then I can constrain it to shafts, etc. Um, so there you go. That's how you do it. Okay. Hope this helps.